Good morning, I'm Brooke Hapes. Bayport High School is mourning the loss of a beloved teacher who died after being hospitalized with COVID-19. 47-year-old Heidi Hoosley was a German teacher who started the school year in the classroom before falling ill. This serves as a tragic wake-up call for fellow teachers, although we still do not know how Hoosley contracted coronavirus. Another week of campaign stops here in Wisconsin. This time, President Donald Trump made a visit to Mosinee. He held a rally at the airport where he discussed potential coronavirus vaccines, jobs, and why he wants your vote. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson was scheduled to accompany President Trump to Mosinee. Instead, he is in quarantine. A spokesperson says Senator Johnson was exposed to someone who tested positive for COVID-19. He has tested negative. Democrats are saying enough is enough in regards to the theft and vandalism of local political signs. Anyone who has information that leads to an arrest or conviction can get a reward of $300. This goes for the entire 8th District. Party officials say in Brown County alone, some 200 signs have been stolen. The district chair says it was time to hold people accountable. The Packers will play their home opener this Sunday. They'll take on the Detroit Lions at Lambeau Field. There will be no fans in attendance at this game due to COVID-19 restrictions. Kickoff is set for noon. All right, after a cool start, it's going to be another cool afternoon. 60 degrees, that's all we get. That is below average. Now tonight with light winds and areas of clear skies, those temperatures going to dip once again into the 30s in many spots. There's like Green Bay, O'Connell at 37. And if the winds are completely light and those skies completely clear, some temperatures even colder than that. Now the whole weekend, well, it's looking dry for you. And we finally make it back to the 70s by next Monday.